announced that school was officially going to be online for the remainder of the school year, our teachers began making videos so that there was more connection to the students. Having us deliver the content really brings it to life. That's Miss Sorden that's on the screen, or that's Miss Cruz that's on the screen. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Having that as a YouTube link, it's easier for families to have access. It doesn't require you having a particular program or downloading anything onto your phone. They are just clicking the link and they're able to watch the YouTube video, which then gives the child the information he or she needs to understand that content from their teacher. Our goal is to make videos three times a week. We try our best to stay anywhere between five to seven minutes for their attention span. Hey guys, so I noticed that um, some of the show responses were missing some information. Oh my so Ms. Cruz is our third grade ELA social studies teacher. She consistently assigns short responses for the text students read. And she noticed that they were not following the elements that they have been taught. So she took that as an opportunity to reteach it. And then we need two details from the text, or as we like to say, evidence. Any direct teaching video is accompanied by five multiple choice questions for us to be able to gauge if the students watched the video, did they understand the video, and use that information for further planning. So teachers are also uh, making videos in specialty areas. Our music teacher has created an assignment for this week where students are making their own instrument. I'm going to show you how to create a box guitar. In order for him to know that the students completed the assignment, they will submit either an audio file, a photograph, or video of their instrument. In addition to making videos that are educational, that require direct teaching, we really did think about our students' social emotional well-being. And our kindergarten team made a video together where they included their family members so that every morning when the kindergarten students wake up, they're able to see their teachers singing the good morning song. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. One, two, one, two, three. It's been really nice to watch the evolution of teachers and their videos and how much more comfortable they're getting. Initially, we all felt a bit awkward speaking to your computer. Now we're starting to get more creative. Our students love seeing us get goofy and having fun. And you know, we're doing all of this to find ways to deliver content that is meaningful. That's why the videos became something that mattered a lot to us as a community.